that you're actually interested in the boat or the jet ski rental industry, but you heard three myths. Let's knock those up out of the park. One, I heard that you think you need some sort of fancy old financing, but you don't. And I heard that you think that you actually have to live where your boats or jet skis are located, but you don't. And I heard that you think that you need some sort of, you know, large bag of money to get into the industry, but Get up. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, in this episode, I'm gonna be breaking down those three myths, all right? Let's get right into it. We're not gonna waste any time. Number one, you do not have to have any sort of fancy financer, all right? If you've been someone who's gone out and got financing for car, four by four, airplane, or whatever, it is the same exact method when it comes down to purchasing your boats and your jet skis. However, with that being said, what I love the most is with your boats, instead of you having the normal five to 10 years, you actually can get financing up to 20 to 30 years, depending on the amount and the year of your boat. All right, so go ahead and get that out of your head. You do not have to have any sort of fancy financing, all right? I've actually gone out and been able to network and build relationships with uh, quite a few finance companies. And I'll be sure to go ahead and put that down in the description. But again, it's just like your normal car loan or anything like that. So you can go to Navy Federal, you can go to SunTrust, you can go to Bank of America, all right? But here's the secret, I'd rather go to a credit union, all right? Credit unions, they're gonna give you the lowest APR possible. For those of you that don't know what APR is, that is your interest rate, all right? Your interest rates are very low when it's coming from the credit union. And here's the hack to this, all right? Here's why you wanna go to the credit unions and get your pre-approval letters, simply because when you go into the dealership or wherever you're gonna purchase your boat at or your jet skis, you actually walk into the door with some sort of negotiation tool. You're able to utilize and leverage the fact that you already had a pre-approval. So for example, let's just say that you go into a dealership and you see a boat for $37,000, but you've already been approved for $32,000. So you need that. Here's a secret. When these vessels or jet skis come off of the manufacturer line, the dealers are given an MSRP. They're able to say, the manufacturer tells me this boat is worth 40,000, but I'm gonna put it on my floor for 50,000, all right? So there's always room to negotiate when it comes down to purchasing your boats or your jet skis, all right? So keep that in mind, go out and get your pre-approval. I've given you three banks that you actually go to and you can get them. All right, let's knock the next one out. You have to live where your boats or jet skis are located. You do not. All right, I have locations not only in the US, but across seas and working on opening another location uh, right now. All right, so get that out of your head. You do not have to live where your boats and jet skis are located at, ladies and gentlemen. I actually have an episode that breaks down the different platforms and tools that you can actually utilize so that you can run your business remote. If you don't have a business partner that can oversee the business wherever it is in the world, then guess what? You can do it remotely. All you need is a laptop, or a cellular device and a couple of softwares. But that is in another episode, so be sure to stay tuned and make sure you put on your notifications and subscribe button so that you know when I drop that good old video and it's coming soon. So you might wanna go in and subscribe right now. All right, let's get on to it. And then the last but not least, you need a whole lot of money to get into the industry. That is incorrect, ladies and gentlemen. You actually can get into the industry with as little as five thousand dollars believe it or not and here this is your homework this is what i want you to do i want you to head over to facebook market and i want you to go over there onto the marketplace and where it says search i want you to type in boats for sale or jet skis for sale all right and there you will find plenty of boats and jet skis that you can purchase with as little as five thousand dollars let me give you this if you ever buy any used equipment when it comes to the boat, you need two people with you. You need a surveyor, all right? That surveyor is coming out there to tell you everything good and bad about that vessel or that boat 
so that you have a clear conscience on the purchase of that boat, all right? So he or she is going to go literally touch every piece of that boat and expect it and tell you, all right, well, you got this or you have this, and that's gonna help you with purchasing a used boat. Now, don't be like I was a few years ago. I purchased my first yacht, a 30-foot uh, Sea Ray Sundancer down in South Carolina. For those of you that don't know, I live here in the DMV area, DC, Maryland, Virginia area, and I had to get this boat or this yacht all the way back to DC. But before purchasing this yacht, my uh, agent, he said, listen, Shad, this is a lot of money that you're about to spend. And I would hate for you to purchase this boat and you not know what's wrong with it. Of course, we've gone and did a sea trial. For those of you that don't know what sea trial is, that is when you take the boat out on a test drive, simple form, all right? He said, you don't wanna spend all this money and not really know what's going on with this yacht. And see, in my head, I was like, well, why would I spend $2,200 and then the report may state that, hey, you got a, a blown engine or something like that. However, I tapped into my inner soul <laughs> and I listened to him, all right? So again, if you're gonna purchase a used boat, ladies and gentlemen, do not look at how much it's gonna cost you to get a surveyor to come out there. Look at how much it's gonna cost you if you purchase a $30,000 boat and then when you get it back to wherever you're going and you find out you gotta dump another 20 or 30,000 into it. So go ahead and spend that money. The second person that you wanna have with you when purchasing a used boat is a, a mechanic, all right? Your mechanic is gonna come out there and he or she is gonna give you the worthiness of your engine. It's gonna be able to do the compressions and run all types of tests on that engine so that you know whether or not you have good engines or not, all right? And there could be two or three or four or however many on this boat, all right? Depending on if you have inboards or outboards, but we'll get more into that one on another episode. So again, three MIPS. You don't have to have any type of fancy financing. You can go to any of your local banks and ask for a boat loan. Two, you don't have to live where your boats or jet skis are located at. All right, you can very well put in a system in place or another person in place to run your business for you. And you don't need a lot of money. You can actually purchase it with as little as $5,000. And that goes for your boats or your jet skis. All right, now I know I kind of sped past the whole jet ski thing, but when it comes down to purchasing used jet skis, you need a mechanic that knows about jet skis to tell you whether or not you have a good piece of equipment there or not. I hope you learned something. Remember to look down in the description below. If you're interested in working with me, you can actually fill out an application and that application will be sent over to myself and my team. And if you're someone that we can work with, then guess what? You gonna get an email or a phone call. I'll catch you on the next episode.